exciting times we're going to see the little ponies um so peaches and the rest of the little mountain monsters have been up in the um basically the mountain our farm mountain since i think the ones that have been there longest have been there since about last january so a good year excuse me you are not a sheep dog child <laughs> so they've been up the mountain for a good year nearly 18 months some of them and today because it's nice and sunny they've come down to the river which is at the bottom of the field which means i can actually walk to go and see them so we're gonna go and have a catch up with the ponies i bought them a little mini bag of treats and i can just see them looking at me because they can hear the treats so yeah a little catch up with the baby ponies well they're not really babies anymore but they're still babies Welcome to life, Ronin. Five horse mountain ponies. They won't budge. Come on, you silly beasties. Come on. Look. Yes, food. Come on. Come on. Don't buy wash ponies. Seven. Come on, my baby. You're the good one. Wow. He's the best. This is why I kept him. Oh my god, he's white. Yay! Good boy! Oh, here they come! The old lady. Cuties. Here they come! Good girls! And Joey! Hi, Pussy! Where's the old lady at? Where's the old lady? This is why I love ponies. Hi, babies! Best not stand on the rocks, they might crush me. Look how white you are! Oh my god, he looks like his mum! Oh my god! It's a plastic bag! Oh my god, it's a plastic bag! Hello! Hello, are you gonna be in my vlog? Oh my god, you've got white! You've got white! You've got white! Yeah, and Joe's here! Hi, Joe! Oh, I'm in guy. the danger zone, surrounded by Welsh ponies! And little Heidi, hello little one! And this is Prince, he's this little tension seeking shit. And my old girl, it's Peach! It's Peach! She hates it. Oh, hello camera. Hello camera. I'm sitting. Hello sitting. I'm Jo. Oh, that's cute! <laughs> You guys can see surrounded by lovely ponies. Surrounded by lovely ponies. Joe. Joey. Oh. Who's the babies? You're the babies. You're just hungry. You're always hungry, you little monster. She's gorgeous. Are you beautiful? Are you beautiful? Oh, grown. Come on, Peach. And Jack Pinsy. <laughs> Excuse me. No. No. Hey, you as well. I'll get off Prince. Prince. Uh, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Why have you brought. Oh, menace. Heidi. Why did I bring treat? Heidi, you cute. Stop it. You're biting. Oh, she's the cutest. Stop stealing the packet. Gone now, gone. They're just not stupid, are they? They're just not stupid, are they? I see the fat one. Where's the fat one gone? Stop biting my d shirt. So, get off. Get off. Oh my god. I told you guys I was going to do a little update of the pony go away. <laughs> and they basically got really cheeky because they're in the mountain 24 7. Get off. I try and come to them once a week to check on them, but like as you guys can see, they're fat and happy and really naughty. Prince, you're not a child. Now go away. So, <laughs> plans for them this next year or so. I obviously haven't got any shows. That's what they are here for. Will you stop? Right, no. They're obviously here because I show them. They're literally my babies. They're my show ponies. They're all like top class. I think Brewood, Briarwood, whatever it's called. Your nose on my camera. Hi, you can be in it. Go away. 
Um, <laughs> get off. So yes, they're all my show ponies. They're registered Welsh Mountain ponies. Ow! Every single one of them except for this madam has been sat on. Um, she had an injury to her back, so I didn't actually get around to breaking her in. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Never work with children or animals. Especially not little Welsh Mountain ponies who are just naughty. <laughs> Oh, um, so yeah, I never got around to breaking her in just because of her back, really. So this year, definite goal is to get on this beauty. Stop being an idiot, it's a oh. dog. Yes, definite goal this year, get this little madam riding away. Um, another goal I've got is to get Heidi over her first ever jump with a rider. She's like, I hear the food, but I don't see the food. First ever jump with a rider. She took a while to get used to riding. Um, as you guys will see in my previous videos, she used to buck her rider off. She has got over that a little bit, so definite goal this summer, get her over a course of little jumps. That little nightmare over there. Come here, baby. Okay, he's in a mood for me because I didn't give him any treat. So Joe, I sat on him at the end of last summer. He's a bit spooky, bit flimsy around people. But definitely goal this year, get him riding away. Will you let me come to you? Do you want to be in the vlog? Yeah, I'd like to be in the vlog. So, oh yeah, as you guys can tell, he's a bit just, he's just, I don't know, uncomfortable around people, I guess. Um, so Prince is pretty much broken in, riding away quite comfortably, sat on him a couple of times this year. You're not the one I'm on about. Um, <laughs> And basically, we, me and Jim invented some online dressage and I thought, what a good idea. Um, I've always wanted to do a bit of dressage with the ponies, but obviously because I'm a bit tall, I'm a bit thingy about taking them somewhere to do dressage. So I thought I could do dressage at home with my little sassy pony who's now looking for treats on the floor. Oh, have you given up on the treats? Oh. I actually said I was going to retire Peaches from competition, but there is a veteran class in the dressage online. So definitely something that we are planning on doing this year. She, this winter actually, we're going to be doing some fun rides and some hacks, some charity rides. Look how pretty you are. She's getting older, so it just means that she will not be spending her winters up with the mountain anymore. She's had her last winter of being a proper Welsh mountain pony. I don't think she minds. She's quite happy to come down and work. Um, so yeah, I've also got a little rider to come with me. So when I take Jim on the fun rides, there's going to be a little rider to ride Peaches alongside of me, which is going to be really cute. Don't you start this again. So he knows how to strangle his mummy. Stop it. No, you're cute. Yeah. So that's the plan of the ponies. It's basically get every single one of them riding, including Seren. Get every single one of them ridden. Don't you dare. I know what you're going to do. You're going to yank me backwards and strangle me. Do you mind? Oh, you never change. Will you never change? You'll never change, will you? She looks good for an 18-year-old mare who's bred God knows how many foals and lived in the mountain for a whole 18 months. Look good, Peach. You look good, Peach. Look at the idiot. I can't ride them at the moment because I've got a stallion down. Prince thinks he's a stallion, so he'd just fight with Storm. Joe was castrated really late. I think he was castrated as a four-year-old, so he would probably kill Storm as well. Oh, God. Hello. And, yeah, so as soon as Joe's castrated at the end of the month, which I'm also going to be vlogging because my vet has very politely agreed to let me vlog that and explain how the process works for anyone who's never had it before. Obviously, we won't will not be vlogging the graphic stuff because I will faint. So, for now, it's goodbye from the ponies. And hopefully by the end of June, we'll have some pony vlogs. Some pony vlogs. He's just the cutest. Is he not just the cutest? Do you know when you're a kid and you just want a whitewash mountain pony? He's just that pony, isn't he? <laughs> you are. You are. She's my baby, though. My baby. They've all got nicknames, but I'm not going into that because they're quite embarrassing, aren't they? Aren't they, Munchkin? Yeah. So, yes, guys, I'm sorry. It's pretty boring again. Um, but everyone's been asking how the ponies are doing. A lot of people are asking, do I still ride them? Do I still own them? Are you tired? 
Uh, I do still own them, I do still ride them, they're not going anywhere. I don't think I'd ever sell these. Prince is actually the baby of my first ever pony, who passed away really re recently. We'd obviously sold her on, but he means a lot. I don't think I could ever sell him. Peaches, I've just been stuck with her for too long to get rid of her. And the others are just, they're little monsters. They don't like kids, they don't like the screaming, they don't like the noises, so I could never sell them to a kid. No, because you deck them, don't you? But yeah, <laughs> definitely keep an eye out for more little pony monster videos. Oh God, they've seen the dog. He's seen the dog. He's never met my dog before. Oh God, danger zone. Right, I'm heading off. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys soon with a an edited video probably. So this probably won't go on YouTube, but stay tuned to my page to find out when my next video is uploaded on YouTube. And yes, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll leave you with some pretty pictures of the ponies at the end of it, because they're so beautiful. Hey, right, see you guys later. How to correctly say goodbye to ponies. Cute faces! Bye, Peach! Oh, look at them! Little squad. <laughs> Comment who you think is the cutest pony. I won't mind. I know who I think it is. <laughs> oh no, I don't know actually. She's pretty cute. Bye! So, yes, let me guys know what you think of my babies. Um, I know a lot of people who originally subscribed to my channel and followed like my Instagram and stuff followed because of the Welsh ponies. So definitely interested <laughs> in doing a lot more videos of them. Just depends what you guys like. I mean, personally, I could record the ponies all day. I could personally record Prince all day because he's a weirdo. Um, and I know a lot of people do like Prince. Um, so yeah, defo, if you enjoy seeing ponies, Give this a thumbs up. I mean, we all love Jim. I hope we all love Jim. Um, he's just that cob, isn't he? And obviously Jim will always be in my videos because he's my main horse. But I definitely want to get the ponies out and about a bit more. So another insect where I live as well. Middle of nowhere. We literally live about two miles from the nearest people. About nine miles from the nearest village. Town, whatever you want to call it. So, freedom! Lockdown doesn't really affect us daily. I'm now going to sit by the river, cool down a little bit, and let my dog go sunbathing. See you guys next time.